Hi, this is Kate. And this is Dad. And this is another episode of Coding with Dad. And it's one of the earlier episodes we'd like you to watch. We showed you how to log in, how to create a Scratch account. We showed you how to log in. Gracie did a, a and, video logging yeah, she, in and showing you all, everything that, about Scratch. She just did that one. Yep. Um, and now Kate's going to show you how to create a very simple program. It's something, something from Scratch, from logging in and creating a very simple program to just to move a, and, something around the page. And, right? This video you should watch after maybe after Gracie's video and like not saying you have to yeah. but you know and then, like you should if you're like really yeah. beginning. And this this video we hopefully won't go too long. We we just want to like if you were to create one simple scratch product. So show us how you log in, okay? So, so you hit the I sign in my, button. Yeah, you hit the sign in button over here, and we have a bunch of usernames over there. Yeah. So um. Put your username huh? and password. Oh, I got what you got there, dude. Um, Gracie Spencer. I think it's. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. We're going to pause you, the video. You know, right? Just one second. We're going to pause recording but, until I figure it out. Hey, Yay! we figured it out. Sorry. It out. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I just. Forgot. So you now you're logged in. Now reason. now you're going to create a very simple program. What do you hit to get started? So if you watch Gracie vid Gracie's video, you'll know that you hit the button create, and that just makes a new project okay. come up. If it loads, okay, it'll make some new projects come up. And maybe on this one we'll just use whatever the Scratch Cat, right? Yeah, we'll just use the Scratch Cat. We're just gonna, and what we're going to do is what? What we're going to show we're how to use the arrow keys to move him. How to make him. the arrow keys to move him. Okay. And um, this is the kind of thing, like this, with this program thing, you'll be able to make a very basic game. Mm -hmm. Like your first game might be one that's like really fun. It, it you just use the arrow keys on your keyboard to move uh, this little scratch cat around. Okay, so what do we do? How do we get started? Because this is the question people are going to have that that have fir are first coming to to scratch. Yeah, so we always start with the green flag is clicked. Well, right now we do because yeah. you know yep. this is the easiest. And again, way to that start. As, as Gracie explained, when when they click this green flag up here, that's what will start this program. And this this basically this block is going to. Represent when the green this flag is, is clicked. This right? is probably normally what you're going to use to always like start your, start your projects. Yep. You'll see those so in almost every. You'll see those project. in a lot of in a lot of um projects. But um so anyway. And it's basically since we have the since we have Scratch Cat, like you might have more than one sprite, like Gracie saw, but mainly like here we're using one sprite. Here's the sprite that we're seeing. So everything we're doing, all the code we're writing, because this this is the sprite that's highlighted, is going to act on that sprite. It's going to be it's going to be moving that sprite. I'm not sure if Gracie told you or not, but if you want to create a new sprite with like part of your projects, then you see this little part that says "new sprite" down here. Um, you can do that, right? Then you can click on if you want to choose that's a little library bit advanced for somebody or doing a, something like that. But very first we project. don't really need that right now because all we're going <coughs> to do is, yeah, because that's a little advanced yeah, right now. We just want to get somebody. We just, we just need one sprite yeah. for like your first few projects. You only really need one sprite. So what are and, they gonna, how are they going to do this? How are they going to move that the sprite, the, the uh, scratch cat around? Well... Before I say that, I uh, just yeah. want to say something really quick. Okay. In a lot of projects, if you um, if you're looking at their project page right here, and if you click this little button that says "See Inside," if you click it, they normally have like so many sprites down here, especially if it's like an advanced project. But like if it's a project that's more advanced, you know, that would be harder to make. Then. You don't really need that many sprites right now. You can just, we're just do one, doing, right? Yeah, we, we just need one so far. So, anyway, these this block, the if-then-else block, is probably the block that you'll use the most, even more than the green flag is clicked blocks, because this 
is really like it's logic right it's, it's yeah it's, it's saying logic. if some condition if something is true like it's gonna it's gonna do the things it's, like you're gonna drag things into this first area in the next episode i'm gonna really try to explain all these blocks okay. and what they do but for now i'm just gonna say okay so these i'm gonna say just so these like if it, then elf elf blocks um you have to drag one of like if like you want like, so it's saying, like, if this happens, so I'm going to say if, um... The arrow key, or maybe a... For what I arrow. need in this project, mm -hmm. Perfect. I'm going to say if up arrow is pressed, which is, you know, the up arrow. And as you're, dra so, as you're dragging these boxes, these boxes only fit in ways that make sense, so... <coughs> If you can, if you can snap them together, it should make sense. Yeah. So like, you can't fit um, a circle. Please. You can't fit one of these blocks. Yeah. So see, we try to put that in there. Nobody knows what this means. Yeah. Probably. Who's but see, it, this it, video. it won't go in that. But it won't go it won't in that go little, in this little space. It will either go on the top. Yeah. Or. Yeah. It can go there because those feet. It's like a big. It's like a puzzle piece, right? Of here. Yeah. So it doesn't really work inside of that little. Mm -hmm. um, so now, if up arrow is pressed... That little hexagon box. So if up arrow is pressed... Now, what do we put here? What on earth do we put here? So... When we put something to move him? Yeah, motion. Okay. Motion. 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 Sorry, not right. blocks. Motion. And that, because that's moving. So if we turn him so he points in direction... And you might not know what these mean. Like... Like oh, they're these, labeled now. Zero is up. They were always labeled. Oh, were they? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, but that's what I was going to say. If you click that little down arrow, it'll show you what direction that thing, that number is. Right. So, pointed direction zero. So, that's up. And then... Maybe move steps. Maybe. Wait just one second. Oh no, I, I'm not going to use the if else box because then. Well, I think you're going to use it, but you're probably first going to put a forever box. No, I'm not going to use the if else box. I'm going to use the if then box. Because the if else box, uh, if you. I'm, I'll show what, okay, what happens know, yeah. later if you okay. use the if else box. You can't press. If you press two at once, mm -hmm. then it will choose the one that's first. Uh, and it will go in that direction. But if you press two on once here, I forget what happens. Uh, I don't know. It just like I, don't, I I'm not sure if it moves yeah. or not. So okay, so when so they press anyway, the up arrow, it's gonna move in a direction. If you press the up arrow, it will just point in that direction. So yeah, that. So let's really what happens if you run so, it? If you press the up arrow, well, let's let's just run if it. If I run it, and you press and the up I arrow. Press the up arrow. Maybe that's. I, I I have to make it so this guy goes like this. You might not know what this means, but huh. Current but, year. um, but we will show you that later. Oh, I have to do something basic. I have to put a forever block there. Always put the forever block there. So it'll just keep so on looping. keep on looping to make, it'll go, is this up or pressed? It, so, if is this upper or press? No, is it upper or press? But right now, what I'm doing yeah, is because what would happen? Like, is this upper or press? No, because we, we haven't pressed it Let's yet, right? Let's not do it. So okay. Okay. So anyway, now if I press the up arrow, okay. he'll face up. Very good. And at the end of this project, I'll show you how to do it. So he always just is in the back and forth position. Mm -hmm. But he will still go up if you press that. Yeah, but this is good enough for but now. But that's good enough I don't for now. Have to Actually, do that. I'll do that in a future yeah. episode. So now, what instead. can we do? Like, if you go, if you point the arrow down. So point the arrow down. So now I have to drag in another if block, if okay. then block. So now sensing. Now, if you look for this block, this like if key, which yeah. key is being pressed. So. Mm. This would be the down arrow. Okay. We need the down arrow now. So. And then you're gonna point, point in, in direction. I'll I'll put in all the yeah. blocks later that make them. Move yeah, this is a good job. Well. So then go I'll have down. It so they just face this. These are direction. actually degrees. Zero degrees or one hundred eighty <coughs> degrees. Yeah. So now let's let's run it now. 
Let's see. So if I run this now, press and the up down, arrow. up, down, up. But if I press side to side, you're yeah. at, you see me pressing side to side, and nothing happens. Can you do side to side too? I can do side let's, to side. Let's do too. side to side. So um, I haven't put in the blocks that made that makes him that, move. That's yet. okay. This may but, this is making a lot of sense. Um. Hopefully this makes sense to you. If you have any questions, then you can post them on my Katie Girl profile. Okay. So, um, anyway. You're gonna go. Okay, so I need a move, move, motion block. But, um. First, let's do the you, directions. I'm just saying. Because maybe yeah, you do the, right, the different I know, arrows, right? I, I, that's okay. what I'm doing right now. Okay. So, I just want to say, if you don't want to get the block and you just need this one block, you could just go like this and you can press duplicate oh. and that'll give you another block. Oh, nice now job. I can just place that in there. Let can you press press right arrow? Yeah. And then go right. And then right. go right. Now could you duplicate that whole if <coughs> and then oh, and then yes go I left? Can. That's a very good idea, Dad. Alright. Oh, that made it easy. And now all I have to do is just go Left, right? Left. And left. then do that so, left. And then I have to do this left. Now let's... let's so um, now what happens is I go like this and I, it just... Let's do it slow. So so let me so, try up arrow, down arrow, up arrow, down arrow, then right and left, right and left. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So now how do we get it... Can, can we put like a movement at the end of that loop? Yeah, so how far do you want it to move? Ten steps, maybe. Ten steps makes it look really good, and it doesn't make it look all, like, choppy, like, if I put, like, Can we... 50 steps, mm -hmm. and I press the up arrow, this is what happens. Yeah, it's too much. It's too much. It doesn't look good. So let's... So, I forgot it doesn't look for town. So, yeah. um... So let's put... How many steps do we want? <coughs> um... Maybe five or ten. And right? ten okay. would be fine. Or five. five. Five would make it move yeah, slower. slowly, but still good. Now, if I duplicate it, I can just put this in every line, you yep. know? So, I can just move it down. And now, if I press these arrow keys, then it'll move oh, in all these cool. different directions. And if I press two at once, it does go on an angle. Oh, that's great. I wasn't great. sure about that. Um, so I, think, anyway, I, think this, I think this is all we should do for this video. I want right? to say something quick. Okay. Because this got really annoying for me when I was making a project like this in the very beginning when I was like making it all move around. So if you want to just like not like move back it like not flip upside down if you're pressing like the left air key, look mm -hmm. it goes upside down. Yeah, yeah. So that got so annoying for me and I didn't know how to do it. So all you have to do is like put down the two fingers and click and then this will pop up. Mm -hmm. And you want to click on info. And then, um, if you click on this, it makes it so this will only move side to side. Now I'm moving oh. up and down. So it'll only look like it's moving like side to side. I like side. that. And if you I click like this that. little dot, then it just stays like that. Yeah, that but looks more realistic, right? I think it should be like that, because then it's just going back yeah. and forth, you know? Yeah, I like that. For some things, like, for some things, you would want it to be like this. Yeah, yeah, But yeah. not this, right? Well, we, we're okay with the kitty running back in different directions. We just don't want it to, we don't want the kitty to be upside down, right? Yeah, because if you go like this, then he's like... Yeah, that's like crazy. That's really unrealistic, you So know? Let's, let's name this project something, like like Basic Scratch Project. And you yeah, can put it on your site, and then if people just, need to look at it... You could it, just go like this... And um, I'll go basic. Uh, I'll go moving with arrows. Okay. And if you need to look at this, save. I how do you I save? Know this well, is now you my named it, but how do, I, how do I save it? Yeah, I'm going to just say I know this is the only project that's going to be on my site when you come to it. Well, maybe. But I'm, yeah. I'm, if you, if it's, we might do other ones, might since, do they watch, other ones since they watch this video. Just right now, yeah. that would be the only project I have in my site because, yeah. just because, um, yeah, I have it. So I'm show, working on a bunch of other things. Yeah. So show them how you save it. Yet. So you just go save, save now. now. So if you go to Katie Girl, and you can go and right, what I'm gonna do right now quickly is I'm gonna share it. Okay. And now it's shared with everybody, so you can see it if you want. So thank you very much for watching this video, and um, that was another episode of Coding with Dad. Great job, Kate. Bye.
Bye-bye.